Welcome to the Figure Zone. Check out these awesome figures shipping now. Daibadi Polynian Matchon. Mat, uh, not quite sure what was going on there. Storm Collectibles Golden Axe Henninger and Ron Longmoon Swanson. decided on that name and also we got the cyber blue blue and the king of fighters 98 terry bogard super seven mars attacks ultimate martian plus we got more super seven we got silver hawks ultimates 1980s retro toy versions of quicksilver mon star and then we have buzzsaw and the last one up is Steelheart. Then we got a bunch of Thundercats Ultimates toy recolor collection versions. Starting off with Groon. Then we've got Chilla. Then you got Jaga and Wily Cat, which is sold out at a lot of places. But I like these toy colors a little bit better than the usual versions. Now we've got the worst Ultimates Wave 4. We've got the Hellfire Black Falcon and Frozen Death Robot Reaper. Metacom Ultimate Buzz Lightyear and Mezco TMNT 5 points boxed set. We got a stack of Bondi Spirit stuff. We've got the Monkey D. Luffy DBZ Goku Effects part set. Then we've got an Ultramon. Gaia effects set. SHF Ultraman reissue. The one that started it all. Ultraman Gaia version 2. Then we've got the SHF Ultraman Blazer reissue. SHF Sakura Haruno. SHF Ichigo Kurosaki. Then we've got another SHF Ken Pachi Zaraki and another SHF Makima from Chainsaw Man. Then we got Mazinga Z Kakume Shinka reissue. Then GXK SHM Gojira and SHM Kong and the SHM Blue Eyes White Dragon reissue. And that's it for the Bondi Spirits. Now we got Kotobukiya, Megami Device, Chaos, and Pretty Grandma, a.k.a. Goof. And then we got Armored Core, Algebra, Solu, Bar, Jar, Bar, Barbarino, and Rosenthal, full package. That's what she said. Cosmic Legions Outpost, Zaxius Wave. We've got Scur Scourge and Spexian Mineworker. Kalen Shun, Altar, Silovius, Opor, A, Tiv83, and T, U, 5, C, C. Those guys are pretty cool looking. Prepare your wallets. The pre orders are coming. Now, on to Star Wars. <laughs> The Vintage Collection, Most Icy Cantina HasLab, is going to end on July 8th of 2024. Get it if you want it. Standard is 400 bucks. The Deluxe is 500 bucks. It needs 8,000 backers, and it's pretty much almost there. And there's a bunch of tier unlocks if you get more backers. So again, if you want it, scoop it up. This is pretty cool looking. Bandai Spirits Kaiju number 8, SHF Kikuru. Shinomiya, quarter one of 2024 and 80 bucks. Now she is 5.11 inches tall. And she's got a bonus faceplate for Kaiju number eight. I like bonus stuff. That's cool. 
And for some Hasbro news, first up we got the G.I. Joe Classified Series Sergeant Slaughter Mad Marauder, September of 2024 and 35 bucks. Mad Marauder's Low Light and Spirit 2 pack, August 2024 and 55 bucks. This may be a Pulse exclusive because I haven't seen it anywhere else yet. And the Cobra Stinger and Driver set, that's September of 2024 and 100 bucks. It's still available on Amazon if you do want to get it there. And we got some Marvel Legends, Man Thing, September of 2024 and 40 bucks. Scar, Son of Hulk, August of 2024, 40 bucks. Then we got some Strange Tales, Blackheart, Build a Figure Wave. And these are all November of 2024 and $25 each. First up, we had Brother Voodoo, Damon Hellstrom, Dracula, Bloodstorm, Moon Knight, and Weapon of Vengeance. And one of the cool characters I like, Lilith. Dragon Horse, 112 scale. MTF Zeta 9 Mole Rats. Quarter 4 of 2024 and 86 bucks. Now you got real fabric clothing, a ton of weapons and accessory. I believe this is pretty much the same figure as their Mole Rats in the yellow suit, but now he comes with a green suit. Pretty cool. I like the detail. Definitely an awesome looking figure. Super 7 Thundercats Ultimates Wave 11 and Super Pack. Quarter one of 2025 and 250 for all of them. Now these guys are seven inch scale. You got Claudus, Luna, and Amok, Robert Bill, and the Royal Thundarian Guard. And if you order through the Super Seven website, you get the exclusive Super Pack with extra weapons and accessory that are sometimes needed for the characters sometimes they're their actual weapons they use in like the cartoon or something and they're not included with the regular figures for some strange reason oh yeah so you can sell the super pack and they also have the ultimates toxic avenger movie version quarter one of 2025 and 55 bucks seven inch scale and ghost ultimates papa emeritus four quarter one of 2025 and 55 dollars seven inch scale also Storm Collectibles, 112 scale, The King of Fighters, 2002, Unlimited Match Nameless, quarter one of 2025 and $95. Now he's got three head sculpts, extra hands, removable cape, and some pretty cool power effects. I am digging on it. And also from Storm Collectibles, we have the 112 scale Karas Otoha. Quarter four of 2024 and 90 bucks. Now he's got some extra hands, sword, and some power effects. They painted the eyes pretty nicely on this one. It looks like they're actually lit up, which is pretty cool. There's no like LEDs in here, but that's a pretty cool job. I wish more companies would do that with stuff that looks like it's supposed to be lit up. Because sometimes it looks like just dead eyes going on. That looks pretty awesome. They are making a lot of mother frickin' figures here. She won she Dragon Girl LH01 and Yu Wang Long. <laughs> Come on. It's like the fourth dick joke in this video. Stop. Okay, yeah. Now Wang Long also comes with Firefly and is a model kit. It's quarter 3 of 2024 and 55 bucks. Now, Wang Long is 11.8 inches long, and Firefly is 5.9 inches long. <laughs> Who comes up with these names? Executive Replicas 112 scale, Frank Frazetta's Death Dealer and Steed, limited edition set, quarter two of 2025 and $350. Limited to 1,500 pieces worldwide, and... Uh, yeah, it's three hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, okay. Now there's still plenty more figures left in the video, but if you're enjoying the video so far, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. It helps set the channel big time, and also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the action figure news. If you like saving money in action figures, use my giant toy and other links in the description below. Free mother frickin' shipping and my trusted overseas sellers. You can also help out the channel by using my sideshow collectibles link. 
You don't have to buy the figure in a link for any purchase or pre-order. It helps me out motherfucking big time also. And if you guys use those links, I will give you a shout out in the next video. And thanks so much everyone who uses you ready. You guys are motherfucking awesome. And for my favorite statue of the day. And it's Wang Free. Moss Studio Genshin Impact Quarter Scale. Waiter Raiden Shogun. Quarter 1 to 2 of 2025. Page flip. Not sure the price because it's like all over everywhere. 198 pieces it's limited to. It's almost 20 inches tall. And if you guys are like digging on this statue look here, the pasties and other parts are removable as they should be. So yeah, this is a cool looking statue. I like the head sculpt. I like the other parts there, you know. And this is one quarter scale. So those parts are probably like the size of like actual lemons. And she gets the Albany seal of approval. Here we have two Kyodo Marvel Amazing Yamaguchi Reveltech Deadpool figures. Quarter two of 2025 and $110 each. Now both are the exact same figure, but not totally exact because there's different colors. And that's pretty much it. 6.69 inches tall. We have the NR051 X-Force color version 2.5. And the NR050 regular red Deadpool version 2.5. You got some extra heads and hands, tons of weapons and accessory, and you can make them look like a TikToker school girl with those freaking eyes and the heart stuff and the peace signs. Or you can make them look like a mother freaking Ninja Turtle. I'm thinking Raphael. Extreme Toys EX003 112th scale. Let's call him a uh, Joker. Quarter four of 2024 and 80 bucks. Now you're getting two head sculpts. You got the body, of course. Extra hands, a real fabric outfit, pile of weapons and accessory. He looks freaking great. 80 bucks is an awesome price for this figure and all the accessories and the quality. This is really cool looking. I'm totally digging on it. So let me know your thoughts on this figure, any other figures, in the comments below. Who are you going to get? Who are you going to pass on? Who do you want these companies to make next? I've got a huge freaking list of some figures I'd like to have on display. And don't forget to check out the other links in the description below. And also, if you want to see some more action figure awesomeness, check out that video to the left or a playlist to the right loaded with more mother freaking figures. So thanks so much for watching. Till next video.